Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I show you guys how I got this dewy, also matte makeup look. I don't even know what to describe it. I was going for a dewy look, but it wasn't really working in my favour. So we ended up just going with this. I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, I just thought I would take you guys along, basically just do my makeup with me. It's a little bit less natural than I usually do as I've added some eyeshadow and stuff um, and some highlighter and whatnot, but it's basically like my everyday, but a little bit more glam. If you enjoy the video, make sure you do give it a thumbs up. Also click the subscribe button down below and let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start off with my base layer skincare. So first of all, I use the Pestle and Mortar Pure Hyaluronic Serum. This is literally like my key to getting like the hydrated glass looking skin. It's my absolute favourite. Just a... That just fully failed. Just popped that on and I'm just going to rub that all into my skin. Literally makes it feel so much more hydrated. Next up, I use my SPF because... You guys always need to be using SPF. I use the Hawaiian Tropic Skin Nourishing Facial Milk. This is 30 SPF and it's really, really good and it smells amazing. It's also a really hydrating SPF, which I really like because I find that a lot of them do dry your skin out. I literally find this one really like moisturising. Sorry guys, we ran out of storage on my SD card. But yeah, I just blended that all in. What do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? And then use a little bit of moisturiser because I've just put the SPF on. I don't use a huge amount. But this is just the Nivea Soft Moisturising Cream. This just to make sure my face isn't really dried out because sometimes it can get like that. Yeah, I literally only do a little bit. And I never know. Do you put moisturiser on before or after the SPF? I never actually know. I'm just gonna let those products sink into my skin and then we'll get started on the actual makeup. So I start off using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. As you all know, this is my literal go-to primer. I use it all the time. It's my absolute fave. Literally love it. So, so good. Literally, my makeup grips on for dear life using this product. It is amazing just gonna have a cheeky little spritz of the urban decay all nighter setting spray this is the travel version love it so for foundation i use the wet n wild photo focus in shade golden beige literal die hard foundation again wear it 24 7. my beauty blender is actually disgusting i need to get a new one because that is gross oops so if you can see that i'm going to use some nars radiant cream and concealer today i've only got the little mini version there's not a huge amount left but i do love this concealer but i would say that the maybelline fit me is literally a dupe for it like one they literally look the same and two they're practically the same anyway as you can see i literally do not have very much left but doesn't fly and then i always blend my concealer in with a brush rather than a beauty blender because i feel like it blends better but yeah i literally love this nars concealer but i so wish it wasn't as expensive as it is because i literally cannot afford to be paying like 28 pound for a concealer and i am like refusing to spend that money because i am broke as anything when i see your pretty face for powder i use the rimmel with stay matte normally i use quite a lot because i really like a matte finish however today we're only going to do a little bit because we're not going for the full-on matte finish i'm going to spray a little bit more urban decay all nighter just to make sure everything is fully set in place so for bronzer i use the nyx matte bronzer absolute fave this is a rebuy obviously or a repurchase sorry um because i just love it so much i hate doing bronzer in this room because i can never see it properly so 
like another tell if it looks good it's actually my dad's birthday today so we're going for a little pub lunch in a minute which is why i'm getting ready um which is cute i love a little pub lunch so that's fun this is where it starts to get a bit more glowy so i'm gonna use the elf monochromatic multi-stick blush in glimmering guava it's just like a little puffy blush okay this isn't actually really working it's not you but i know i just have to use my fingers like normal right this looks ridiculous this cannot ruin my makeup please i look like a clown it's not okay it's not okay it's not okay not okay at all i look hideous right let's add some more bronzer let's bronze this bitch up i'm gonna add some like where it was to make it less white okay i think that's worked it's kind of not glowy anymore but it will have to do because i'm not I don't want that anymore. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm Blush, which is my fave. I love that it's got a bit of a shimmer to it as well, which is why I use this for my glowy looks, because it gives more of a glowy look. <laughs> for highlighter, I'm going to use the Estate Jumi Lit Highlighter. I don't even know where I got this. I literally just had it in my makeup drawer at some point and then I just started using it and I loved it. So, who knows? Just literally, also just ignore the brush I'm using. I couldn't find enough. Um, it's just a really like natural highlighter. For my brows, I'm going to use the Got To Be um, gel. What's it called? Got To Be gel? Got To Be... Yeah, something like that. Anyway, literally just brush my brows up slightly. And then shake them into place. Like so. Really easy. I don't really do anything with my brows. I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use NYX matte bronzer. I never really actually use actual eyeshadow. I always use bronzer just to kind of define my eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna start with the Dior, Dior Show Blackout Mascara. Sorry, this is really not gonna be cute because like, you will literally be able to see up my nose, but I always have to lean on something to do my mascara, otherwise I just can't do it. You know what, let's just skip forward until I've finished the mascara and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> finished the eyes and the base makeup and now i'm just gonna do some lip gloss literally just using the primark high gloss which you guys know i love and use every single day and yeah literally gives you such like a nice shine on your lips and it's just a gorgeous gloss and i love it So this is the finished makeup, um, I love it but I also am hating it at the same time and I don't know what it is I hate about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell while you're there to get notified every time I upload a new video. Also follow all my socials, they're in the description down below as well as every single product I use I will leave in the description and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys.